Hello, it's Alex here. And in today's video, I want to go through how to set up uh, a Google ads campaign you know, to start generating leads for your appliance repair business. Uh, if you do run an appliance repair business and you need help running ads, setting it up, uh, managing ads, or even with SEO or marketing, feel free to click the link down below for a free consultation call. Otherwise, let's just jump right into it. Uh, so this is the homepage for your Google ads account. It's really straightforward. If you haven't signed up for Google ads already, you're going to need to sign up um, to start running a uh, to start running a campaign. Uh, and from here, you can either click set up a campaign here uh, on the right or just create uh, and then choose a campaign. So for the purpose of uh, leads, you can either go with website traffic to just, just, just start giving Google a little bit more information uh, based on the website vis visitors you're sending, or you can just jump into leads. This might take a little bit longer to start generating quality leads for your business, uh, but it's probably what I would do for uh, an appliance repair business with a big enough budget. And of course, you're going to want to add conversion goals. And this would be things like a contact form uh, or clicking to call. Uh, but you're going to have to go through and set that up um, on your own site. And then from here, uh, you can choose any of these for your campaign. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go with search. Depending on your niche and industry, performance max can work. Uh, for most people, uh, display is not going to work for generating leads. It's going to be search, uh, which is what you're going to want for generating those appliance uh, repair leads. And then again, from here, you can choose ways to reach your goal, uh, which you would, which would be things like phone calls uh, or lead form submissions. Now you'd want to add your lead form. Uh, you'd want to add your phone number. Uh, and then, yeah, now choose your campaign name. Let's just go with appliance repair leads um, in Phoenix, for example. Uh, and this, this is the city we'll target just for the purpose of this video. And then here we go. Start new campaign. So again, you'd be focusing on conversions because that's what you want from your visitors. You want them to convert into a lead, whether they click the form uh, or call uh, or, uh, or or do any other action on your site, uh, and then you would just click through. So you want to exclude leads because this is typically going to be low quality traffic that you don't want. Uh, you don't want these people to see your ads, so you would just click through. Uh, under locations, you would just enter another location. And what's cool about this is you can actually do some hyper targeting. Uh, so, of course, we would want to target um, Phoenix, uh, but you can also target things like um, specific neighborhoods within Phoenix, uh, you know, more affluent neighborhoods, for example, if that's who you want to target, or areas, you know, specifically that have a lot of appliance repair problems, locations with hard water, something like that. But this is where you're going to choose your location. From here, you would add English. Maybe in Phoenix, you would add Spanish if you are planning to run Spanish ads, but I would keep it just as English. Audience segments, if you're just setting it up, you don't need to worry about it, uh, but you can add segments uh, to even further hyper segment and hyper target with your ads. But again, if you're just starting out, I do not recommend that until your account has more data. Uh, and then for broad match keywords, I would just go with off because you don't want Google to kind of decide willy nilly um, what, it's going to, what it's going to run. You want to be able to set the keywords. Now, under more settings, it's a little bit more interesting. Uh, you could choose an ad schedule, which you could run when people are at home, in the morning, uh, you know, anytime like that. All day is fine. You'll get data further on into the campaign where you can then just choose a specific ad schedule. Uh, for best performing, uh, for ad rotation, it really depends on how manual you, manual you want to be with the ads. I would start personally with do not optimize so I can actually watch how each of the ads perform. In theory, Google is going to be showing each ad uh, the same amount of times um, to, to, to the audience, to your targeted audience. Um, you can choose best performing ads, just gives you a little bit less control and Google decides. Um, so depending on what metrics you're going for based on ad performance, you might not get what you want. Uh, but if, if you're just starting out, choose, op, choose, choose uh, prefer best performing ads. And if not, then just... Uh, you can, it's up to you. And uh, then you can choose start at end date. And what's cool is you can add brands to exclude. So if you are getting a lot of searches for your brand, you can just add that to the exclusion list. Uh, and then from there, we're going to jump, jump right into the keywords. Google now has these cool AI tools, which is fine. Uh, but we will just click out of that. I add the keywords that your ads are going to show up for. Uh, so you do have an option to get keyword suggestions. Uh, and then, so for this, you would want to do Phoenix appliance repair and then click on get keyword suggestions. Now, as we can see here, uh, and we can go back into this in a moment, I'll show you how to actually do some more, or there's another video I have uh, where you can actually see how to do keyword research for your uh, for your appliance repair leads ads, right? So theoretically, right, each of these would want their own, their own campaign um, or ad group because you wouldn't wanna be running ads for theoretically for Phoenix appliance repair broadly, as well as targeting refrigerator repair 
washer repair, Samsung appliance repair, all those fees are on ads so that the, the ad that the person sees is going to be hyper targeted, right? So for the purpose of this, let's just go with washer repair um, Phoenix. And we would just have this as the keyword. Um, you can also use chat GPT for this as well, which is really interesting. So you can say, can you give me a list of keywords related to your keyword washer repair Phoenix that I can use for washer repair ads in Phoenix. And now you can definitely add these to the campaign as well. Um, and it will work and we will just let this populate. Uh, here we go. So actually these are quite fantastic ads, especially, you know, some of these, uh, affordable commercial, if it's something you can do. So theor and th theoretically what you would then do is just go through and then add these to your list. Uh, and then we do now have an amazing uh, list of keywords. So since we are actually targeting Phoenix, uh, just in the ads, you can get rid of the Phoenix modifier. Um, it doesn't really matter that much. It doesn't make a big enough difference because Google is going to figure that out quite quickly. Uh, but what you could do is just go through and get rid of the Phoenix modifier, um, and then apply all keywords to the campaign. And then now we can see here uh, on the right, the ad group, weekly conversions, uh, you know, weekly costs, everything like that. And what, once you've added your keywords, you're going to scroll down and this is where you can start building out your ads. So the final URL is going to be a website. So clientsrepairphoenix.com slash, um, slash, uh, washer repair. It's a good idea to have a separate landing page. Uh, that you're sending ad you're sending ad traffic to specifically because the home page is designed to convert. You want a, you want a page you want a landing page a final URL that is designed to convert visitors into traffic right or into leads. Otherwise, you're going to be wasting the money that you're spending uh, for that traffic. You can you can set a custom display path here, which is cool. So you could just do like the Phoenix, and then washer repair, right? That's really cool. And then now you can come down and choose your headlines. So I like to pin um, the headline of your brand name. So it would be like, let's say Appliance Repair Phoenix, if that's your brand name. Uh, and I would just pin that in the second or third position, probably third, uh, depending on how often it's gonna be shown. And you can pin it in the second. Uh, so for example, for this one, I would probably just go with, uh, such, such as, it's gonna be a shorter ad. I would pin this in the second position. So it's gonna be showing up here uh, and then through that now for the rest of the headlines, I would, you wouldn't, wouldn't need that many. Um, you could just pin them in the first position. So through here, excuse me, you're going to go through, uh, and start creating headlines, uh, for the campaign, right? Same day washer repair. Um, and you can also use chat GPT, uh, to help give you some ideas. We'll fix your washer today. And because you would only want these showing in the first position, right? Uh, this is, we would pin these in the first position and then we would add a few. So we can actually go through and say for washer repair in Phoenix, give me 10 ideas for an ad headline. And you could even say less than 30 characters. And then ChatGPT is just going to cook up a bunch of these, right? Um, None of these are really that good. Your own discretion, and you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to edit it and change it in the future, right? So get your washer repaired today. It doesn't work. Get your washer repaired, or there's a space there. So get your washer repaired today. You can say also like broken washer. We'll fix it. Right. So you can go through and do stuff like that, which is really cool. Another thing you can do is go to Google and actually search for Phoenix washer repair, just to see what ads other people are running. So you can see right now, this is showing a Scottsdale appliance repair, it's completely unrelated. Appliance repair in Richmond, I'm not sure why that's showing up. And then this ad is absolutely terrible, um, just plain washer repair. And this one, we repair and service Phoenix, doesn't really mention anything about washers. So these ads are terrible. Um, if you were running ads, uh, then you would have pretty good luck with these so far. After the headlines, you have to add four descriptions, uh, and this is going to be a bit longer. So it would be something like, um, at, this is less important than the headline, but at appliance repair Phoenix, we can repair all brands and models of washers in Phoenix, 
Phoenix call us today. And then you would just, you could go with something like, is your washer broken in Phoenix? Give us a call and we'll be right over to fix it. Something like that, right? Again, this is something you want to monitor regularly and then update and change because you will be able to see Google's backend how all these are performing, right? And then this is where you're going to add your business name. You can add site links, which is going to be, and it's going to show you right here or because we haven't added anything. Um, uh, but it would be something like contact us, get a quote, stuff like that. Uh, call us, you could add as well as adding more asset types. But again, just to get started, you wouldn't need to add any of that. Um, just important to get the ads up and start getting them performing. Um, and then you could just go through next and you can see here, it does recommend a daily budget of $20, which is fine, uh, right? And that should get in theory 20 conversions at a cost per conversion of $8 and a weekly cost of 140 bucks. That's fantastic. You probably won't get that to start. Um, your performance will be significantly worse. And this is actually Canadian. So in US, it's like a $15 a day budget uh, to, and a cost for conversion, um, which is going to be a you know contact form, fill out a phone call, stuff like that for $8 for appliance, for appliance, for washer repair is fantastic. Um, this is going to be over time. You won't get this at the beginning, uh, but it's a pretty good expectation. And then you can also set a custom budget here. So if you want like a $30 budget, it should update and tell you what to expect. Yeah. So with $30, you know, cost of conversion is up for some reason. Uh, but you can actually see that changing the budget is going to work better. It's going to get you data faster. Uh, and it's a great way to set up your campaigns for success. And then from there, it's just going to give you an overview. Um, you, you know, if you haven't filled up the, your account properly, you're going to get that error. Uh, but then from here, your campaign is going to be ready to publish. And really that's about it. Uh, from here now you can start running ads. You can create new ads and ad groups. So you can have Phoenix as the campaign. And then in each, in the campaign, you can have different ad groups uh, for things like washer repair, Samsung washer repair, uh, oven repair, all this sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, that's really about it for setting up Google ads. Uh, if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. If you need help setting up your campaign, feel free to sign up for a free call in the in the uh, in the link down below. Otherwise, thanks again, and we'll see you guys in the next video.